This video will cover how to get up and running with the new Give Donation form while highlighting some of the basic options for customizing that form. Out of the box, Give comes with smart defaults enabling you to simply add a title, an image, hit publish, and you're done. Let's go ahead and start there. On the sidebar, hover over the Donations menu item and then click Add Form. Just to show you how simple it is, let's add a title, attach a featured image, and hit publish. Now preview our site, and there we go. Looks great. Let's take a look at how we can customize the form in more detail. The tabs on the left of the donation edit screen contain all the configurable settings you'll need to make the form look and behave how you want, starting with the donation options. The donation option lets you set a single donation price or have multiple levels. The display style options lets you set how the donation levels will be styled, as buttons, radios, or a drop-down menu. The custom amount option gives your donor the ability to set their own donation amount. If enabled, you control the minimum maximum amount, as well as the text that appears on the custom amount button. If choosing a multi-level donation, here's where you'll set up the different levels by setting the amount, button text, and whether or not it's the default amount for each one. To add more levels, simply hit the add level button at the bottom and repeat the process. For this new form, we're going to leave it as a multi-level form and keep the display style set as buttons. We'll enable the custom amount, change the minimum amount to $10, leave the maximum amount, and the default custom text is fine in this case. For the donation levels, let's add two levels so that we have three total, four including the custom amount. The first amount we'll set to $10 and leave it as the default. Let's set the second to $25 and the last to $50. We'll leave the donation level text as is, but feel free to provide labels for each different level. So with that, let's move on to the next section. Many of the options on the form display panel are tied to your global defaults found in the settings tab on the main give sidebar. Here is where you can change them specifically for this form, if so desired. Let's look at a few of the more commonly used ones, starting with display options. Display options will tell the form how to display the donation information, which is the meat of your form, and gives you the option of having it all displayed by default, displaying it in a modal pop-up, revealing on click, or displaying the whole form in a pop-up from a single button click. The Submit button option dictates what text will be shown on the button that the donor clicks to submit their donation. The Donor Comments option provides donors the ability to add a comment to their donation. These comments can be displayed publicly on the donor wall unless they give anonymously. You can enable, disable, or leave it tied to whichever you set in your global settings. For now, let's leave all these options as is and move on to the next section. The donation goal panel gives you the option to add a progress bar to your form that dynamically displays how many funds you've raised. Let's enable that now. The progress bar can display your progress in four different ways. Amount raised, percentage raised, number of donations, and number of donors. Here you can edit the goal amount, the color of the progress bar, and whether or not you want the form to close and stop accepting donations once the goal has been reached. We'll keep the goal format set to amount raised, change the goal amount to 10,000, change the progress bar color to a nice red to match our panda, and leave close form set to disabled. Okay, the last section we're going to highlight is the form content panel. 
the form content panel lets you add custom text and images to your form. Let's go ahead and enable it now. Okay, the content placement option lets you choose whether your custom content appears above or below your form fields. Down below is where you can add your content. Let's paste in a blurb about our Red Panda fundraising campaign. Before we save changes and view our form, keep in mind that there are more options for further customization in the terms and conditions, offline donations, and email notification panels. Those are covered in detail in other docs. With that said, let's check out our form. Look at that. That looks much better than before. We have our beautiful image here on the left. On the right, the progress bar is currently empty, but keep in mind, as your donations come in, you'll see it increase automatically. Below that is our custom content, followed by our donation levels. As you can see, it only takes a few easy steps to really flesh out our forms. So there it is. In just a few simple steps, we're able to create a form and further customize it with an image, custom content, display options, and a progress bar. Be sure to check out our other docs to learn how to get the most out of your forms.